The Book of Proverbs Chapter 1 The Purpose of Proverbs These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, King of Israel. Their purpose is to teach people wisdom and discipline, to help them understand the insights of the wise. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them do what is right, just, and fair. These proverbs will give insight to the simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. Let the wise listen to these proverbs and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance by exploring the meaning in these proverbs and parables, the words of the wise and their riddles. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. A Father's Exhortation Acquire Wisdom My child, listen when your father corrects you. Don't neglect your mother's instruction. What you learn from them will crown you with grace and be a chain of honor around your neck. My child, if sinners entice you, turn your back on them. They may say, come and join us. Let's hide and kill someone. Just for fun, let's ambush the innocent. Let's swallow them alive like the grave. Let's swallow them whole like those who go down to the pit of death. Think of the great things we'll get. We'll fill our houses with all the stuff we take. Come, throw in your lot with us. We'll all share the loot. My child, don't go along with them. Stay far away from their paths. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. If a bird sees a trap being set, it knows to stay away. But these people set an ambush for themselves. They are trying to get themselves killed. Such is the fate of all who are greedy for money It robs them of life. Wisdom shouts out in the streets. Wisdom shouts out in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She calls to the crowds along the main street, to those gathered in front of the city gate. How long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice 
and rejected the correction I offered. So I will laugh when you are in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm. When disaster engulfs you like a cyclone. And anguish and distress overwhelm you. When they cry for help, I will not answer. Though they anxiously search for me, they will not find me. For they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. They rejected my advice and paid no attention when I corrected them. Therefore, they must eat the bitter fruit of living their own way, choking on their own schemes. For simpletons turn away from me to death. Fools are destroyed by their own complacency. But all who listen to me will live in peace, untroubled by fear of harm. Proverbs chapter 2 The Benefits of Wisdom My child, listen to what I say and treasure my commands. Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver. Seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord, and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who walk with integrity. He guards the path of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just, and fair and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from evil people from those whose words are twisted. These men turn away from the right way to walk down dark paths. They take pleasure in doing wrong and they enjoy the twisted ways of evil. Their actions are crooked and their ways are wrong. Wisdom will save you from the immoral woman, from the seductive words of the promiscuous woman. She has abandoned her husband and ignores the covenant she made before God. Entering her house leads to death. It is the road to the grave. The man who visits her is doomed. He will never reach the paths of life. So follow the steps of the good 
and stay on the paths of the righteous. For only the godly will live in the land, and those with integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be removed from the land, and the treacherous will be uprooted. Proverbs chapter 3 Trusting in the Lord My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years, and your life will be satisfying. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both God and people, and you will earn a good reputation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed by your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Then he will fill your barns with grains and your vats will overflow with good wine. My child, don't reject the Lord's discipline and don't be upset when He corrects you. For the Lord corrects those He loves, just as a father corrects a child in whom He delights. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom and the one who gains understanding. Her wisdom is more profitable than silver, and her wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. She offers you long life in her right hand and riches and honor in her left. She will guide you down delightful paths. All her ways are satisfying. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Happy are those who hold her tightly. By wisdom the Lord founded the earth. By understanding he created the heavens. By his knowledge, the deep fountains of the earth burst forth, and the dew settles beneath the night sky. My child, don't lose sight of common sense and discernment. Hang on to them, for they will refresh your soul. They are like jewels on a necklace. They keep you safe on your way, and your feet will not stumble. You can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. You need not be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked. 
for the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. If you can help your neighbor now, don't say, come back tomorrow and then I'll help you. Don't plot harm against your neighbor, for those who live nearby trust you. Don't pick a fight without reason when no one has done you harm. Don't envy violent people or copy their ways. Such wicked people are detestable to the Lord, but he offers his friendship to the godly. The Lord curses the house of the wicked but he blesses the home of the upright. The Lord mocks the mockers, but is gracious to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools are put to shame. Proverbs chapter 4 A Father's Wise Advice My child, listen when your father corrects you. Pay attention and learn good judgment, for I am giving you good guidance. Don't turn away from my instructions, for I too was once my father's son, tenderly loved as my mother's only child. My father taught me, take my words to heart, follow my commands, and you will live. Get wisdom, develop good judgment, don't forget my words or turn away from them. Don't turn your back on wisdom, for she will protect you. Love her, and she will guard you. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. And whatever else you do, develop good judgment. If you prize wisdom, she will make you great. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will place a lovely wreath on your head. She will present you with a beautiful crown. My child, listen to me and do as I say, and you will have a long, good life. I will teach you wisdom's ways and lead you in straight paths. When you walk, you won't be held back. When you run, you won't stumble. Take hold of my instructions. Don't let them go. Guard them, for they are the key to life. Don't do as the wicked do and don't follow the paths of evildoers. Don't even think about it. Don't go that way. Turn away and keep moving, for evil people can't sleep until they've done their evil deed for the day. They can't rest until they've caused someone else to stumble. They eat the food of wickedness 
and drink the wine of violence. The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet and stay on the path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. Proverbs chapter 5 Avoid immoral women. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Listen carefully to my wise counsel. Then you will show discernment and your lips will express what you've learned. For the lips of an immoral woman are as sweet as honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is as bitter as poison, as dangerous as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps lead straight to the grave for she cares nothing about the path to life. She staggers down a crooked trail and doesn't realize it. So now, my sons, listen to me. Never stray from what I am about to say. Stay away from her. Don't go near the door of her house. If you do, you will lose your honor and you will lose to merciless people all you have achieved. Strangers will consume your wealth and someone else will enjoy the fruit of your labor. In the end, you will groan in anguish when disease consumes your body. You will say, how I hated discipline. If only I had not ignored all the warnings. Oh, why didn't I listen to my teachers? Why didn't I pay attention to my instructors? I have to come to the brink of utter ruin, and now I must face public disgrace. Drink water from your own well. Share your love only with your wife. Don't spill the water of your springs in the streets, having sex with just anyone. 
you should reserve it for yourselves. Never share it with strangers. Let your wife be a fountain of blessing for you. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. She is a loving deer, a graceful doe. Let her breasts satisfy you always. May you always be captivated by her love. Why be captivated, my son, by an immoral woman or fondle the breasts of a promiscuous woman? For the Lord sees clearly what a man does, examining every path he takes. An evil man is held captive by his own sins. They are the ropes that catch and hold him. He will die for lack of self-control. He will be lost because of his great foolishness.